Welcome to this walkthrough for Floodlight Analytics. We're going to take a spin through our platform, show off some of the tools and features that make Floodlight one of the most valuable additions to your business. So when you come to the Floodlight landing page, you'll see exactly what we're about. Hospitality Analytics made easy. Straight off the bat, you'll also see we've got some resources for you. We've got some blogs in there, Keg Profit Calculator, and we'll also see a little bit of information here about our multi-site features and our ability to work across your businesses. Floodlight connects to Counter, to Square, to Deputy, and to Zero Accounting. Once we click the Get Started button, you'll see that instead of a trial period, Floodlight offers a completely free plan. If you do choose to take up the free plan, you'll see all your information about your daily sales across Floodlight Pulse, our app, our Insight Dashboard, and Floodlight Focus. There's no credit card required, and there's no contract. You just click and go. If you do like what you see, and you want to check out the rest of the platform, we've got a special at the moment for the new financial year, which is $30 a month. That's a dollar a day for each site. So once you've decided which plan you want to go with, this is what you'll be brought through to. You connect your POS system and off you go. First thing to look at across the top is on the settings page. You come through to settings, you'll be able to set your revenue targets for the day, as well as decide which staff receive the weekly email reports. Our cost settings page, you can fix your weekly costs, and if you don't use deputy, you can add your total weekly staff costs. Deputy access will be here if you do use deputy. User management, at the moment, just send us an email if you do want to restrict any views to your staff or the rest of your team, and we'll get that sorted for you. Next to settings, we've got notes, and this is a cool little feature that we have which allows you to write notes to the rest of the team, which will be viewable by them. This is particularly useful if you need to make notes for RSA issues, as once the notes are on here, they can't be removed. So let's have a look at the business critical information we deliver. Now essentially our views are broken down into time periods from today to the last 12 weeks, and then we've got some trend views. We'll come to those in a moment. Clicking across to the today revenue view, you'll see that each box has a little information tab in there. If you hover over it, it'll give you how we arrive at that figure. The beauty with this is that you're not asking anybody to input numbers on spreadsheets. Uh, therefore, it, it avoids operator mistakes and it's just pulling it straight from your system. We also incorporate weather, which we all know can affect daily sales. Your average line is here, and then you've got your hourly sales and how they're broken down. Order performance is also registered with order sales per hour. Product performance, product sales summary, and you can scroll down through your entire menu. Category performance, category sales summary, and my favorite, staff performance. So you can see who's pulling their weight during the shift. We'll skip yesterday and this week, but let's have a look at last week's sales. Again, total weekly revenue versus previous week and versus average weeks. It's got the average weather. And if you click down on a particular day, you get a nice breakdown of the hourly sales against the average. The idea across all of these reports is that it doesn't need anything from the user in terms of input, and they're super quick and intuitive. So people can have a quick look, get the information that they need, and get back on the floor and get back to the customers. Moving on from the time period based reporting, we've got trends. This is where an owner or a manager might want to look at the strategy and also look over things like seasonality, school holidays or bank holidays. You can select time periods including custom ranges. 
and look at sales revenue by day, time of day, week, etc. Order trends is exactly the same. And product trends and category trends we give you a nice 12 week sales summary and this is where you can really start to tweak your menus see what's selling see what's not to avoid overstocking or selling out of products finally we've got another one of my favorites which is the staff performance over time and again it's a custom time this is particularly useful on two counts if you're doing staff appraisals you've got figures in front of you that both parties can see and this also helps you pair up strong members of your team with weak members of your team or vice versa and finally we've got floodlight focus this is particularly useful again for long-term strategies you might want to look at negotiating cost reductions from a supplier across your group. You can do that here. Improving class flow, building your brand, accelerating growth, and then another one of my favorites, Thief Tracker. In here, we show refunds, voids, and discounts before or after tabs have been cashed off. And we also show staff members and the time that voids, refunds, and discounts have been done. The main thing for us at Floodlight is as a small company, we're incredibly responsive to our customers. We wanna hear from you, and as we grow, we wanna grow with you. We hope this has been a quick, nice, little introduction to our platform, and we hope you enjoy using Floodlight Analytics.